Welcome back IT Pros. Um, in this video we are going to upgrade the BIOS version of uh, MSI motherboard. So for that end I'm going to use our usual CPU-Z uh, software tool where we can see a lot of, of the capabilities of, of our system. So I'm going to leave the link, the link in the description below. It's a free software. So we see the i5, five cores. If we go to motherboard, we see the MSI model H110i Pro. And we can see other things as well, like um, the memory, which is 16 gigs, DDR4, or the video settings. If we go back to motherboard, we can see that the version of this BIOS is 3.5, well, 3.50. Uh, which came out in 2016, so it is a long time. So we go to msi.com to see if there is another BIOS version available. We go to support, download, and we're going to type our model. Again, it is H110i Pro. Now it's going to look for a match. And let's see, there it is in there. So we click on it, we have drivers, we have BIOS, we have the manual drivers for Windows 10, uh, Windows 8, 64, 32, but this is the latest the, the latest firmware. But if we go, if we, if, if we scroll down, we find our current version 3.5 that came out again in 2016. So we're going to go, we're going to download the latest version, as you can see here. So you click download, it's very small anyway like six megs, around six megabytes. So I have it already. It is a zip file. I just click on it, I extract it. And I'm going to be cancel because I already have it. So as you can see, this is the file, uh, long name, ims.3bo. So that's all we have. And we're going to use a USB. So in this case, this USB is not, is not empty. And I'm not going to format it because I already have this, um, this USB with the FAT32 file system, which is the one we need, either uh, FAT16 or, or FAT32. Do not, if you have NTFS on your thumb drive, you have to, uh, to reset it. You have to format it, excuse me, to FAT32 or 16, because NTFS belongs to Microsoft and it only works with Windows. So in order, since we are going to upgraded from the motherboard itself, it doesn't recognize uh, NTFS. So the only thing I'm going to do is drag and drop, and we're going to see what happens. I never, I, I never had some files before in the same uh, USB drive. So I'm going to, re, to re, restart the computer. And since I cannot uh, record that part, I'm going to do it on my cell phone. So restart. And here we go. Now we are going, uh, we, we have to press Dell to access the BIOS. I'm pressing it right now. So Pro Series, really quick. Uh, otherwise, you lose the, the time frame. Um, as you can see here, if you go down a little, you see BIOS version, a long number, IMS.350. And I'm going to go now to mFlash. The USB is connected. It's going to ask me select one file to update BIOS and me. So this is how it recognizes the, the USB. FSO PMAP. So I click on it. And the only fi file I see is the dot 3 bo the one that we have copied to the, our flash drive, USB drive. So I just click on it. And that's pretty much it. So warning, don't remove the USB drive or shut down the system. The system will reboot in, uh, after five seconds. So that's what it does. We are waiting to boot, to boot up again. That's the computer and my USB where the new BIOS version is. As you can see, I'm going to speed the video up so you don't have to wait. This took around mm, two and a half minutes, around two and a half minutes. So when it's done, BIOS updated successfully, system will auto-reboot in five seconds, or you can manually shut it down. Now, Pro Series, you can see here, press F11 or Dell. Here we go. Again, it, is, it was the second time it, uh, that it restarted itself. 
Now I lose the time, the, the window to, to get access to the BIOS, so I restart the computer again and I press Dell uh, quickly now. <laughs> Uh, as you can see here, if we go to BIOS version, it says the, long, the, the numbers IMS.3BO. So we know that's the version we had it at the beginning of the video. Well, the one that we downloaded for, from msi.com. So now um, we have other information like physical memory, 16 gigabytes. Um, and for, for example, the SATA port number two is where my uh, hard drive is, uh, is connected. So I'm just going to uh, click Escape and Save Changes, even though I didn't do any, any change. So here we are. Here we are going to log in to, to the computer. And here we are back. Now that we have Windows on running, I can record the screen again. So if we go to Motherboard, we're going to see that the version has been upgraded. So 3.bo. So that one, the, the one we had in the flash drive, that's the one we selected from the BIOS, from the motherboard itself, I'm sorry. So we compare, we kind of compare the, the version with what, what we have downloaded and they match. So this was really quick. Um, thank you for watching guys. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.